Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to expand sin xy in powers of x minus 1 and y minus pi by 2 up to second degree terms using Taylor series. So the given function is f of x comma y which is sin of xy and this is in the bracket. Now we have to write what is a and b. a is from here if we take 1 and b is from here if we take pi by 2. Now f of a comma b that is 1 comma pi by 2 we have to find. When I substitute it will become sin 1 into pi by 2 which is pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1. Then we have to find fx partial differentiation with respect to x. So sin differentiation is cos. So cos xy and derivative of xy with respect to x is x differentiation is 1 and constant y will come as it is. Now fx of 1 comma pi by 2 we have to find when I substitute pi by 2 here and 1 here this will become cos pi by 2 it will make cos pi by 2 0 then we have to find f xx again we have to differentiate this partially with respect to x y is constant we keep as it is cos differentiation is minus sin of xy and differentiation of xy but we are doing with respect to x. So x differentiation is 1 and y will come as it is and already there is one y. So we will make this as into y and let us rewrite this as minus y square into sin of xy. Now f xx of 1 comma pi by 2 will become, will become minus pi square by 4 and here it is sin pi by 2 which is 1. Now let us find fy. fy we have to differentiate from the original function sin xy which will be cos xy and differentiation of xy is into x will come because x is constant and y is 1. Now fy of 1 comma pi by 4 here sorry 1 comma pi by 2. So when I substitute pi by 2 and 1 here, it will cos pi by 2, which gives us 0. Then, f y y, this will be x is constant, differentiation of cos is minus sin, minus sin x y. Then, differentiation of x y, where x is again constant, so into x. Totally, this is minus x square sin of x y. Then, we have to find f y y of 1 comma pi by 2. So when I put 1 and pi by 2 here, this will become sin pi by 2 which is 1 and apart from that minus and 1 square. So we get minus 1. Then we also need f x y. What is differentiated, differentiated with respect to y? We have to differentiate with respect to x. So here we are going to follow the product rule. So let us write the first term as it is and differentiation of x is 1 plus write the next term as it is and differentiation of cos xy is minus sin xy into differentiation of xy is the constant is y. So into y will come because x differentiation is 1. So this is cos of xy minus xy into sin of xy and we have to find f xy of 1 comma pi by 2. Whenever cos comes, this becomes 0 because cos pi by 2 is 0. You know sin comes, this is 1. Apart from that, we have minus 1 into pi by 2, so which is pi by minus pi by 2. Now Taylor series formula f of x comma y is f of a comma b is the first term and plus 1 by 1 factorial and x minus a into fx of a comma b plus y minus b into fy of a comma b. Then second term we are going to write using this first term considering like a plus b whole square. So a square so which is x minus a whole square into f xx. 
of a comma b plus 2ab. So 2 into x minus a, y minus b, f xy of a comma b, then plus y minus b whole square into f yy of a comma b. Now we are going to substitute all the values. So on the left hand side it is sin xy is our f of x comma y and f of a comma b is f of 1 comma pi by 2 which is 1. So first term is 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial bracket open. This is x minus 1 into fx value is 0. So first term is 0 and y minus y by 2 into fy. fy is 0. fx is 0, fy is 0. So even this term is 0. Then coming to second part x minus a whole square. So x minus 1 whole square into fxx which is minus pi square by 4. So into minus pi square by 4 then plus 2 into x minus 1 into y minus pi by 2 into f x y f x y here it is minus pi by 2 so into minus pi by 2 then last term is y minus b whole square which is y minus pi by 2 whole square f y y is nothing but minus 1. So here it is minus 1. Bracket close. So finally rearranging the terms first is 1. Anyway these two are 0. Then here it is minus pi square by 4. 4 to are 8 into x minus 1 whole square. Then when I multiply this 2 factor will get 2 to gets cancelled. So minus pi by 2 into x minus 1 into y minus pi by 2. Then here it is minus 1 by 2 into y minus pi by 2 whole square dot dot dot. 